Uh, we're gonna get the Great Khan achievement soon. At least I believe it's still doable. <laughs> I might have to go into like a 20 year war versus a coalition. But I can do it. Hmm, not even close to reinforcing their demands. Doesn't look like they're even interested in going to Krakow. Because they don't have enough men, sadly. Good. One last province to core. Jump or. I declare for my superiority. Acknowledge my superiorness. Oh wow, look at that little guy. Eat that guy. I am the most supremest being out there. Therefore you must worship. Oh, they broke their alliance. <laughs> I didn't think they would do that. Oh well. I guess Shampoor is mine now. Just go in and eat. Hey there, reps. There's no rebels succeeding right now. And look, they consolidated Central Africa quite well. Where's missing? Trying world conquest? No. There's not going to be a world conquest here. Maybe I'll try a world conquest with an easy nation next. I do want to try World Conquest, like, just focus in, goal straight, World Conquest, nothing else. Try to get that done. <laughs> World Conquest as Poland! Strongland Poland, World Conquest now. Except they don't really have to... Position or ideas. Well, maybe the position. If you can get a couple of good royal marriages in. And there's actually a whole lot of achievements that I could do with Poland. It. There's so many promises I still want. I mean, it wouldn't be more than a hundred percent, but still. Yeah, I'm say I say that, but oh, that's my total war score. There we go. Damn it! Without forming the Commonwealth, no, I would be forming the Commonwealth. I wouldn't be forming it right. Right as I can, I would be feeding Lithuania like crazy. But I would be doing Commonwealth World Conquest, yes. If I do World Conquest next. Because I haven't ever done a World Conquest, so... I first have to, you know, do it essentially in easy mode with a... With a nation that I know it's doable. I mean, I know it's doable with essentially every nation, but... Doable for me. Because I could not do a World Conquest of the Golden Horde. I don't think so. Go 
Boom. More rebels. Oh joy. And I thought you weren't full of rebel shit. But Baron Dare was wrong. Autonomy 99%? The fuck you're doing? Why the fuck do you have 99% autonomy everywhere? That makes no sense. Oh well. I mean, Oster is certainly the, or is most likely the easiest monster for it, yes. Just start out by eating Italy, get your align alliance with France or Spain. Try to get a PU over them as soon as possible. And of course do the whole like empire thing. Easy to get in Western. <laughs> I mean, yes and no. I mean, I tried to ask the Ottomans before, and I failed, kind of. I mean, I didn't, you know, start out with the mindset of world conquest, but I got fairly close. Just didn't quite get there. I got to the New World too late. I screwed up a bunch of things, really. Also, hello there. Sure. Don't have many generals right now. Really? Did a ton of damage. Ah, oh, shit. Because we declared a war. Declared war while at war, therefore. We get exiled. Hey, this annexation takes forever. And <laughs> getting to two reputation will also take forever. Come on, why? Why would you do that, Ma? Why? What have I ever done to you? <laughs> Back up on 200,000 troops. Oh yeah. Ottomans have an easy, easy expansion east. Yes, they do, but... Spain did stuff in Asia? Yes. Also, not only influence and diplo, but also admin, because you can get another 20% annexation cost on your OP ideas, Korkon. I mean, I haven't been, I haven't been making any personal units. I think that's a big mistake. I've been avoiding these wars for to get PUs, or not really ever done a PU, I guess. With a nation, so yeah. There's a bunch of hap or Austrian um, achievements as well that I would want to do. So, how about we get rid of some of the most useless forts? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's keep that one. Good enough. No longer the possible PU with Sunni nations. Yeah. Because you can't um, 
have a royal marriage with them at all. OPUs at all, you mean? Not with, like, with them. Ugh, go away. Stupid driver. Can I get them? Yeah, I can. Woo! -hoo. Colony self sustaining. Excellent. Most excellent. <laughs> oh, gain all the manpower. I think we're just gonna start by start creating our actual armies. For the big war. Either we can get them out of the coalition by creating massive stacks of armies. Because the AI oftentimes sees like you having a huge army and then they're like, oh shit, get out of that, get out of there. Hmm. Hmm. I just need a bit more force limit. So I can have ten times the army of France. Beautiful. P over Tripoli, I would probably do that as well. If I could, because that sounds way OP. Ah, the good old days were the only thing you needed was time to annex vassals. Remember that? It was all just a matter of time. And then the other days where it was essentially instant. But in order to get it instantly, you had to have enough points. Hmm. The good old days of EU4. When it was so broken that coring stuff was actually not an option. Because coring stuff was stupid, that cost you points, and diplo annexation cost you no points, so why would you ever core anything? Ah, oh, damn it. Go away! I'm almost thinking to myself, as the Ottomans, what is the better course of action? Oh, God, I'm just... oh do I have my course done yet? I do, okay. Yeah, of course I do. So I declared the wars. Bees. I, must... I ask myself quite a lot the question if, is it better to annex the minor states right away or wait? Because it's essentially free development that can just sit around forever. The question is when do you want to take it? And so I wonder, oh shoot, I still have to have our moves. So I guess I go to War versus Oman. Nash and Oman, both of them. Sure. I didn't notice that I need her moves. Good thing that I checked the freaking region map mode again. Oh yeah, and I do have to uh, annex Kiva. Because they do have one province. Actually, never mind, I wouldn't have to annex them because subjects count as well. Anyways. Ooh, that's a lot of reps. Why do we deserve all these reps? <laughs> oh, 700.
<laughs> Holy crap. PU them instantly. That sounds insane. Oh, general left to coalition. General left to coalition. We have an attack incoming. General left to coalition. They're only allied with the paper state. They're allied with the paper state. Oh my god, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Please get access. General of the coalition, we have an attack. We have an attack. I repeat, we have an attack because general of the coalition. So we need to get take take them, take them all, completely destroy them. Boom, boom, boom. And well, get me that freaking empire already. I love how every time it counts as a new ruler. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they ever have thought that it's a good idea to like absolutely hard code stuff in this like random sand generator? Hmm. <laughs> Sandbox generator. Derp, derp, derp. People state needs to die. I wish we could walk there. Just waiting for people to get access. If the people state gets access, that would be great. Are your rebels done now? I would hope so. My rebels, on the other hand, are eternal. So who cares? The fuck is that kind of bot? Well, I guess that is a new kind of b bot here. He actually uses a smiley? What the fuck? extension are you? I'm guessing not too much at all. Nope. Definitely not. Get rid of these Bengalis bastards. These Bengalis bonehead bastards. you in there sieging. Oh fucking hell. Fucking hell. I mean really? Couldn't have like any like, sort of normal castle there? No, you had to pick the worst. Okay, get back. 
back over. Oh, I still should build the navy. I really should. Um, what do we do? A table for a hundred? Ah, two hundred. Galley. I wish this was one one huge coast. Doesn't matter. That will take forever, sure, but yeah. Wait, two years for one galley? <laughs> Uh, it doesn't matter. I know that. I'm pretty sure I've been mentioning this like for a couple of hours now, Korkan. I mean the Hormuz one, that one kind of took me by surprise, yes. But the other ones? Most definitely not. Just wanna get there. Why can't you get access? Hmm. Hmm. We can't really get any battles in, can we? Unless they're stupid enough to land troops. Which they probably won't be. You only watch my streams for like 10 minutes. Korukan! What a betrayal! <laughs> 10 minute segments, then you get out again to play some more of your own game. Sounds reasonable. <laughs> Wonderful. We're already up on thirty thirty six. If every week we'll be going like this one, we would already be at like five hundred. Followers. Let's try to get to the big 300 next week. <laughs> we'll probably have to like increase my viewership a lot. Converting everything, right? Yes, yes. Quick conversions. Oh, useless. At least you have level threes now. <laughs> Not that. Galley template. It will take approximately forever. Oh, gain some more ducats? Sure. Buckets of ducats. Absolute buckets. Still way ahead of time. Good. Oh, we took that province at one point. Didn't even notice. Well, 
Let's declare our first door versus Nodred. I have no diplomats to send. Damn it! I wish I got a border with Garget, but I didn't. It's all my own fault. Of course it is. Convert my heretics? Never! Haha! <laughs> Wow, I'm a really the biggest streamer of EU4 right now, really. I guess I must be streaming something else, XCOM, he's been streaming XCOM all the time recently. Not a game that I've ever gotten into, I have no idea why as well. Come on, 60 more days. Two forts? Ugh, look at that. Two huge ass forts. Hello there. I'm not sure how it's. We'll pronounce your name. I'm just gonna call you KP now. So, hello there, KP. How are you doing? <laughs> and declare the war. Where are your allies at all? Nudged and kill. Ah, that's not coalition, Tim. No, oh, wonderful. Aragon starts it leaves as well. Hmm. How many units do they have in total? Not enough to stop me. Are any of them western? Nope. Oh, he is. How is your attack? Pretty good, actually. Pretty damn good. KP is good. <laughs> well then. He might come next season? Okay. And <laughs> you can't talk anymore? What? you're in an ice hockey game? Oh, that's fine. Have fun with the ice hockey game. That seems like a strange place to watch my stream. <laughs> oh, see ya. Oh my god. already 50. We need a king. The Ottomans enter the coalition. And <laughs> just monitoring. <laughs> Where the hell did all the mods come from? Well, I have a few too many. <laughs> it's because my mods are essentially my all-time viewers like those guys are here all the time so it's fun 
I always have one around. Even if I only have like two or three viewers, I still have a mod around, or maybe even two. <laughs> it's fine, they're friendly mods. They don't have to moderate anything, essentially, except maybe bots. What? How do you keep on getting destroyed by English and Scottish? Do you have like AI bonuses on or by the French and the Scottish? Because without the AI bonuses you should be able to defeat France easily. Also, Oman, declare. Yeah, just declare on after. I do declare that Oman is an official enemy to the state. Okay, let's get some 40,000 over here. That'll be enough to take a bunch of Africa. Do I have mods? No. <laughs> but they're all small wars. Like, that's what you really want to do when you do world conquest, is tons of small wars. And then time them correctly so you don't waste any of them. Oh, do mods bite? <laughs> I don't think so. Except maybe Bonfire. Bonfire might bite. Or at least one of them might bite. The others might not. But I'm pretty sure that one has rabies, so... Watch out when bonfire's around. <laughs> There's only one mod. I think your viewers list is wrong. Because there are three right now. Get over here. Ugh. Come on, get rid of that fleet. Shouldn't be that hard. Let's go back up to speed three, I think. And here we go. Oh no, not yet. Fine. Did I get the achievement? Not yet. I'm starting to do the wars to get the achievement now though. Like, until now I've been, you know, essentially screwing around. There's been nothing else except screwing around really, the last couple of years. Like getting all of this land, getting all of this land, getting my two vassals to be massive. And of course getting some land down here, getting some land in here. Eating Yarkand. Eating Georgia. Just screwing around. Screwing around having fun. take forever to annex. Absolutely forever. Am I going to eat my hordes? Well, yes, but also they're not hordes anymore. Oh, shit. Let's see if we can get a better one. There we go. A 5-6. Five, 5-6-2. Six. Five, six, Do I have any maneuver? <laughs> he has one maneuver, so... Fuck that guy. And he's holding up quite well. For some reason. For some reason. He held up against my army. Not quite sure why. Oh, and my navy's in trouble. Oh well. Go over there. Now. Get over. Flood him. Flood him. Ah, oh, damn it. Seat up for it.
Oh my god, get down here. Why are you like forced marching? We can actually win a battle. Am I Western? I don't know. What would the title imply? No, oh, because I'm a golden horde? <laughs> of course you need to plan. For example, plan to eat Scotland quickly. Have all of your troops there. Maybe go ahead and take the Western Isles first when you invade Scotland. Because that's where his Highlanders spawn. Be aware that he has an event that spawns 10 or more regiments of Highlanders if you invade Scotland. I'm pretty sure they haven't removed that event yet, so... That's a thing. So what does he... He's so good! 5622, two. so so good. I wonder if anybody has ever gotten like a 4-6 general. Ever. Like four sixes. Hmm. Am I going to do England in the future? Maybe at one point. There's a bunch of achievements as as England, so If it has achievements, the answer is I'm probably going to do it, and Ryuku is probably going to be the very last. <laughs> uh, but I would love to do like all the nations that have achievements and get all the achievements for them. And get the generic ones like on the way. There's literally not a single freaking rebel faction, is there? Except me. I constantly have rebel factions. Wait, did I just crush them? Oh, yeah, I probably crushed them. Looks like they crushed. Because they couldn't run anywhere. Of course, of course they crushed. They couldn't run. I'm not English. <laughs> Mextaco, you are assuming there. I'm going to do Ryuku last. If there's nothing else I can do. If I have achieved the apex of all the very hard achievements, like... Um, was it... How it's called again? The Nagur one? Become, like, taking all of that as Nagur? Oh, Rajput Reich, yes. Once I've done the Rajput Reich and everything else, have done an OPM, like World Conquest from Europe, then I might consider doing a Ryuku one. Why you go rebel hunting? Rebel hunting! Oh god damn it, he has another one of those forts? Oh fuck that guy. <laughs> Cost of reducing war exhaustion. That idea is completely useless. So I'm gonna hold off on it for now. I wanna get to the diplomatic reputation. So we can actually annex our both our vassals fairly decently. My accent sounds English. 
You mixed taco, I assume you're on a phone, because otherwise you should have seen the FAQ I have down there. I have an FAQ on my channel if you're interested. And yes, I still haven't done the achievement for my country as well. Well, I seem to be able to peace out here. Give me war reps. Money? I don't really need money. But I can take money, so why not? There we go. Boom! Oh, Spain is no longer in the coalition. So this will be an easy one. <laughs> I was pretty sure I told you before. And I'm also pretty sure that my accent doesn't quite sound English. There's a little bit of different US accents in there and of course Swiss. Because you can't run away. You can't run away from the dialect. Is Winterlake coming? I don't think so. I'm not very patriotic about that fact. Religious map mode. Uh, it doesn't look quite as pretty as I want it to, but it's, it's pretty sunny. <laughs> it's sunny in the Sunni land. And yes, Catholics got the entirety of the freaking New World because not a single one of the colonizers flipped. None of them flipped. Not even like Sweden or Scandinavia. It's Scandinavia sometimes gets some colonies. No, even they remained Catholic. The only people that are Protestant are inside of the Empire. And the only reformed land is actually inside of me, so we should probably eradicate them. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a sad religious map mode. But, they did get religious peace. Which is why somebody... Actually, never mind. I think they changed religion to Catholic. What? Silesia? Silesia moved. <laughs> uh, Silesia is not a single territory back in Silesia. Wonderful. There is a bit of Protestant in there, but it probably just flipped through an event. Oh look, it's a Native American. <laughs> He seems a little bit outnumbered. And this is also the reason why that Catholicism is probably still the largest religion in the world. Yeah, we, we can't catch up to Catholicism, I don't think at least. It's just not possible. Oh, we are still in the war to gain Hormuz and a whole bunch of other land. Take down Oman. Take on Naj. Destroy a doll. Eat Warsongali. Maybe. Just maybe. I guess we can take this army over there. They have no troops. They have nothing. Go away. <laughs> the native Protestants, yes, duh. Cthulism. Holy crap. Men flock to our colors. That's a religious event, I think. For the religious ideas. 
Should put them good to good use. Give me more units now. <laughs> ah. And we're paying a grand total of 36 ducats for our army. It's insane. We could probably go double our, over our force limit if we would ever get the manpower to do it. Wait, didn't we have... The fuck? Why didn't you go on the ships? I thought I had you select to go on the ships. Multiplayer might be quite hard, hard in the future. You mean because of school starting and everything? Uh, there's always a possibility that some people could make it. I thought I I tried to put it like late enough on Wednesdays that people could even like get back from school and eat dinner, but not for everybody I guess. Are there any achievements? You can you can try to do like all your trade are belong to us easily. I don't think they have really any big achievements themselves. You can form Germany with them. Which I think that's an achievement. Forming Germany, right? Other than that, I don't think they have any of their own. Oh, poor Predator. Can't entertain himself. <laughs> um, demand dividends on my investment because god damn it that event keeps on firing all the time so how many units do we have over here not quite enough I think Maybe we could do it. Why are you forced marching? They like forced march on their own? Well, all mercenaries. I don't think so. Get me more units, damn it! I want more! <laughs> the coalition is starting to fall apart again. Despite the fact that there's still a ton of aggressive expansion going. Eating dinner before 6 is not happening. That's sad to hear. Maybe I can move it back. I can, you know, look with Combat Pill and some of the other people that are very interested. What do you mean my nation will fall apart again? Like, totally won't. No. Uh -huh. Oh, that Republican tradition. Hit the floor. Let the Republican tradition hit the floor. Let it hit the floor. Let it hit the floor. Floor, 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 floor. You have to fix stuff for your school. Well, you can always, you know, be away for a week. It's not tragic. Well, for a week would be kind of annoying. But it's only three hours that you're gonna miss, so... No! We need a king indeed. A king now. 
When is the next election? In a year from now, the next election will happen. The Ethiopian bastard coming in. He's trying to cut in on our profit. You Ethiopian bastard. Are you still in the coalition? Yes, you are. Well, Spanny Spaniard. Oh, he would bring in Austria. And a whole slew of other people. So I should probably gather up some rather large armies. And then put them menacingly on the Austrian border because this war is going to be a pain in the bum. It's going to be a huge ass war. La Plata is gonna come in. The USA are gonna come in. Austria. Is it this one? No, oh, it's mid tech. Where are you? <laughs> These guys will come in. Oh no! And France will not come in. Because they're rivaled, I bet. Was I ever set my rivals? No, I didn't. Damn it. Okay, let's finish these wars before. Yes. Yes. And what outfit? What desperate we got? 633. I'll take it. Become a revolutionary man. So what do we get for being a revolutionary empire? Well. We get more morale of armies. Or the same amount. And we get more manpower. That's right, the difference is instead of tolerance to heretics, which we don't need. Of all the nations, we don't need that shit. We get manpower. Very nice. Whoa, that's a lot of people leaving the coalition. Well, well, well. Manchu left. <laughs> Ooh, are you sure you don't want to leave? Oh, they left. Beautiful. Let's do the easy war then. Let's do the easy war. Before going to war with Spain. <laughs> uh, we don't have a coalition anymore for some reason. I don't know quite why. Well, actually, I do know why. It's because of the size of our army. The absolutely ridiculous size of our army. I mean... It's just... Uh, it's it's stupid. It's so it's so huge, it's, it's, it's gotten stupid. <laughs> 800,000... Marching around... In my country, just like, yeah. Yeah, 20 stack here, 20 stack there. 20 stacks everywhere. And I still didn't do a more efficient invasion down here. Because why would I? Actually, I kind of like this. Hmm. I definitely want to eat a man hole. How much 
four scores to see how much of extension mainly. Only 28 over score. 38 over extension. What about notched? <laughs> I don't use euros. <laughs> I want to start have to do with anything. Come on, guys, do your job. Give me freaking events. Conversion successful. More converting. Converting. So no massive coalition war required. Just a little war, says woo. Die 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 woo die Woo you die Ford and ships up here I already have twenty one up there good Oh very nice little frickets Is that the same model we have right now? I mean, those are very, very old ones. The Galliots, those are hundreds of years old. I'm gonna keep, keep them as a keepsake. Oh, look at those frigates. They look sexy. They look much sexier than the other ones. Aw, lame. <laughs> They changed. They came out of port and now they've changed. I guess that's pretty damn cool. Cool ship. Mm -hmm. Let's go blockade over here. I think that's a bit more important. Maybe even go over here because there we probably already at 12, yeah. Why do they keep on suiciding? I think they keep on suiciding because they want to get out as soon as your navy is out. But because the AI is faster, they click it too early. At least that's my theory of why they always suicide if you move away. Conversion successful. Very nice. That's three after another right away. And another year we have another four conversions. Good. Good. And they decided where to settle in. Wonderful. Just wonderful. They have one amazing fort, the rest is crap. Maybe we won't even have to siege it in order to eat them whole. I doubt it, but it's possible. It's the following of vassals, Aethaya, and no freaking allies. Just can't resist a good snack. No, me. 
I wouldn't be this fat if I could resist a good snack after all, right? <laughs> Yadrello, thank you for following. What time is it anyways? Already past seven. It's a bit late. 